Hello, hello everyone. It's Sid from Partridge Exterior Cleaning. Um, doing a little something different today. I just want to say a massive, massive thank you because uh, we hit 10,000 subscribers on the channel, um, which is insane. I think literally at the time I'm making this video, we're at 11,000, so it's just gone so quickly. Um, it was the same thing when I was trying to do, I was trying to do like a 5,000 video. Um, and by the time I'd sort of got ready to do a 5,000 video, we were on seven. So just thank you so much to everyone. I'd honestly, I didn't think, I th thought this would take years, um, if ever, to be honest. So thank you so much, everyone. It's absolutely awesome. So what I'm going to be doing now, um, I've got, a I've got a few off days now. Oh, I'm so alone with the kids at the moment. Yeah, I've got a few off days. So I'm having a day off today. I'm basically waiting for a GoPro to arrive. There was a GoPro setup that I've bought. It was meant to arrive on Monday. It's now Thursday, um, which is just a little bit annoying. So, cause I was going to do like a day in the life. It wouldn't be like a proper day in the life. Okay, baby, one second. It won't be a proper day in the life because it's not my normal life, having days off and going around places, but it's just basically following me around for a few days. Um, and that'll be like my 10,000 things so you can see. Okay, wow, beautiful picture. Um, so that'll be what it's like when I'm not working, basically. But yeah, I'm with these two today. So this is my eldest. This is Aurora. Let's see what you've made. Let's show everyone what you've made. Oh my gosh, wow. Can you say hello, everyone? Hello, Can you give a big cheese? Big cheese for the camera. Hey, good girl. There we go. She's so pretty. That's it. Keep painting. No, oh, okay. You're going on that side now. All right then. And then this is the little one. This is little Nova. She's very chubby at the moment, aren't you? We have a big smile because you're so cute. Are you so cute? No. Oh. oh yeah, you're so very cute. So yeah, she was born. Um, what is it, sir? 14 weeks ago now? She's still only tiny, bless her. Um, yeah, and we've uh, had an absolute nightmare. Basically, she was born with um, talipes in her left foot. So we've got this boot on for her now. She's just come out of a cast. It's very swollen. It's been very painful for her. Um, but this will sort it out. Funnily enough, little Aurora. Wow, she had the same thing when she was born. But it's not genetic. So um, basically very unlucky to have two children with it. Um, but you'd never know this one had it now. So yeah, so there's my kids, because I'm really showing them before. Um, and yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do today. I was thinking actually, if my GoPro was here, I would have went out and cleaned some windows. But um, yeah, it's not here. It's, it said it will be here from two o'clock, so um, we'll just sort of see how that goes. Yeah, I've had a haircut by the way as well, so yeah, I look um, yeah, a bit different now, I guess. But um, right, so I'll figure out what I'm gonna do, um, and then I'll take you all along with me. Thank you. Sorry about that, folks. My, uh, I've just got this bloody GoPro and the uh, SD card corrupted. On the, I've just basically I'm on my second train now, so I've got one more train to go um, until I get to Northampton. Um, I'm heading to the Spinner Clean HQ today, um, so I'm going to video that if they let me. Um, yeah, my SD card corrupted, so it's just lost all the stuff that I've just recorded previously. So, yeah, entering the video now. Um, I'm just checking where my train's gonna be. I don't know where I'm going, to be honest. All right, I've gotta find Northampton somewhere, but I don't know where the thing is. Uh, gotta go to Northampton. All right, 12.33, that's not the one. Um, 12 o'clock from Rugby. Oh yeah, you know the train that's just gone to, um, that's just stopped at platform five? Um, is that going to Northampton? Do you know? So I've just got off that, but it says I've got a train on my... 12.33 is in Northampton. 12.33. I've got it on here that it should be 12 o'clock from Rugby. Oh, it could be the one of them. Just, there's a guy in the office, or a girl in the office up there. Just go and speak to her. Okay, all right then. I'll have a look. Okay, Thank you very much. Steps. Cheers. Thank you. All right, God knows, folks. A bit confusing here, to be honest. It says on my thing. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if the camera's in the right position. 12 o'clock at Rugby, but... Let me just see. Right, apparently it's the train after the one that I've just uh, 
got off, but they both go to the same place. So I don't know, very confusing. So anyway, yeah, I'll intro this video properly. I don't know if I recorded anything from um, yesterday. I didn't do nothing. To be honest, I uh, started a video and I was like, eh, I'm not doing anything today. Um, I'm just moving, I'm moving house in a few days. So we were just sort of uh, getting stuff ready. I went to look at the house and everything like that. So um, yeah, basically that's what I did yesterday. I didn't video any of it, but uh, I will video it when I move in. Um, yeah, as I said, heading to Spinner Clean HQ today. Hopefully they'll let me film it. Um, just gonna have a look at some pressure washers basically. Yeah, this is my thing. So sorry I didn't record um, anything up until this point. Um, yeah, I don't know, I've just spent, sorry, I'm trying to get this thing in uh, focus. I've just spent nearly 400 quid on this bloody GoPro and the SD card that came with it is corrupted. So it's lucky I bought a second one. Hopefully the second card doesn't basically corrupt as well. So yeah, hopefully this video comes out. But anyway, I will uh, film a bit on my way. Um, if I get to film at Spinner Clean HQ, I will, obviously you'll see that coming up next. Um, if not, um, I don't know what I'll do, but yeah, we'll find out. Right then folks, check this out. So I'm in the Spinner Clean HQ at the moment. Um, just been left on my own for a moment. Um, so I'm gonna be looking at all this stuff today. Um, look at that, this is sort of what I'm interested in, um, in purchasing. Um, yeah, that looks really smart. I saw this one on the website actually, that is a beast, but it's very expensive. Um, definitely a bit too, a, a bit more powerful than I would need, put it that way. But this is sort of what I've been looking at. Um, yeah, look at that, it is smart, I must admit. Very, very nice. Yeah, check out the size of that. That is 30 inches, <laughs> Jesus Christ. That is, um, yeah, big to say the least. Uh, I don't know if I showed you, here's the sort of gutter vacs that they've got. Um, smart, I mean, I won't need one of these big ones to be honest, but I'm happy with my gutter sucker junior. Um, that's a really good bit of kit. Um, the uh, fella from Kent Property Cleaning, um, that's what he uses, and um, yeah, wicked bit of kit. And then look at the size of that. It's got an engine power in it. That is a, yeah, a proper industrial machine. Um, I don't know if I showed on the video, I just picked up one of those. They are so light, those poles are. Um, really nifty bits of kit. Um, there's a camera system stuff there, and these are a few little accessories. Um, yeah, very smart. As I say, passion is the fuel for success. There you go, I agree. But uh, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. All right. Mountain, new climbing today. I know, yeah. <laughs> right then, cool. Let's right. go then. So, first steps, we turn the ignition on. Yep. Pressure release valves open. Yep. Behind here, you've got your revs, high and low. Cool. Leave it on high. Yep. On the GX models, I tend to leave that on high because then I've got a pressure regulator valve at the front, so I can yep. adjust the control of the water there. Your fuel line is on at the moment. Yep. To the far end. Choke is off at the moment because it's starting from cold we'll give it a full choke. Yep. So the plan is once um, you're pulling the cord, getting a good tension, yep. you've probably heard a lot about a snatch back. Yes. A lot of people just come there, pull, and then Yeah, you gotta wait back. until you feel it, like, yeah. Feel the tension, yeah. foot on the wheel, yep. short pull, okay? None of this at, at pulling so far the cord. Yeah, Okay. I have snapped mine before, oh, so. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it's a pain short, to replace. So pull, the machine will start picking its RPMs. What we tend to do then, slowly start turning the choke off, to the point it's gone off, you've got a good flow coming out the release valve. Yeah. Cap that off, and then we're going to do what we need to do at that end. Cool. All right. Lovely. So, let's go. So, let's turn it on. That choke. That's on. Here we go. So, good, 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 good sub there. Yeah. There we are. Lovely. Yeah. Down, up, 50% over. Alright, I've never never used one before, so. Yeah. The 
lot less messy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, freezing. Quite yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's really easy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's. <laughs> bear in mind, I'd probably be halfway up yeah. that now, and that's, that's, that's yeah. done two passes, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah, so I keep going. Keep going, but. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Getting some free labour. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, absolutely. How much do you want, Sid? You what, sorry? Quid for a photo? Yeah, yeah. Where do you want me? Do you want me to take this thing off my head? Hang on. I do want to introduce the turbo lance. Yes, yeah, just so let me know, mate. I'll show you how powerful that bit of kit is with the turbo lance. Yeah, because you don't, you can't really tell the power when using that, can you? It no. just sort of... The power, your stuff, that's, that's okay. Um, it's not until you get your turbo one. Yeah, so what we've got there, what's yeah. that, 25? Yes. Yeah. 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 So again, when you're adjusting that, take your hand off the trigger, yep. adjust it, uh, and then have the little blast on it sort of thing. So uh, I'll fire it back up for you, Sid. Cool, sounds good to me. Hey, I was going slow then, but it does make mincemeat of it, doesn't it? It's nice and easy. Yeah, I think go slow, let the machine do the work for yeah. you, give it time. You don't need to go over it more than twice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I probably missed a bit there because I wasn't paying attention, but... <laughs> yeah, that's all right. You can tell, can't you? <laughs> hey, powerful that is. That really blows back. Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. Try the turbo. Yeah, you can, I can really tell the difference between my one. It proper sort of blows it back, like. So this one now, the turbo lance. Now the turbo lance, it's a fixed nozzle. Yep. Okay, what that does, it produces a four inch cone. Yep. You can hear the whir. Yep. When you hit that whir, you put that right height where the whir is ripping into the dirt. Yeah. So you've got it too high, Mm. That word is that producing. You need to get it just right off the floor yeah. to produce that word. Yeah. So you thought that was powerful, so you Yeah, wait till I try this one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So do you do any quick release we fittings? Quick release. We used to do them before we went back to the screw ones because what was happening with the quick release, because the couplings have uh, got the bearings, yeah. they get rusty, a lot of water goes Yeah, through. they do, yeah. You're forever sort of putting them on, you're using it, all of a sudden, it, and you're yeah. fighting it. So in the end, we went back to having a screw. But you can have yes, the quick yeah. release as well. So we're just I like this. Lines. I like this hose actually. This the one the hose I've got. It kinks like it? incredibly. Oh. Yeah, that's yeah, it's quite, quite nice. It tangles quite quickly as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's nice and light as well. Nice my my one's like so heavy. Yeah, it's really heavy. Quite rigid, quite stiff. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice hose. So well. turbo lines. You want to do the patch here, basically. Yeah, lovely. You can you hear the word. You can hear the power in this. Might have to catch when you go backwards, Sid. Oh yeah, is it going to be that much? Is it? <laughs> right, let's have a look. Hey.
one, yeah. Carry on. Quite funny. I'm still stuck in my slow speed like that. You do that have to do with mine because it doesn't take it up. But that's uh, nice, yeah, that does it nice and quick, doesn't yeah, it? The distance you hear when it you, you hit it just right. That's, that's yeah. Sweet point when it's yeah. Like whirl, yeah. Yeah. It's just eating into that dirt. Yeah. 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 Wicked. Absolutely wicked. Yeah, really got, powerful, isn't it? Like 10, 15 minutes of your time. Look how quick it was. Yeah, and that was me going slow as well. To be honest, I could speed that. Shall take this off? Yeah. Let me just chuck it in there for us. But simple enough, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's wicked. The right tools, definitely, yeah, definitely, yeah. All right, folks. So there we are. Um, that was uh, my little day at Spinner Clean, um, my little train adventure. I hope you all enjoyed watching that. Um, yeah, the nice folks down there. It's a nice, uh, nice place as well. Um, it was actually um, a nice experience getting to use that uh, pressure washer as well. Um, it was quite a beast. Um, the deal is done. I've wheeled and dealed. Um, and yeah, I've managed to basically, I'm gonna, they're going to send me that pressure washer I was using in the video um, with the flat surface cleaner. They're going to send that out on Monday. Um, I'm going to use it for a month and then they're going to sell it me basically at second hand price because it will technically be used then. Um, so I can't ask for any more than that. That's a good deal for me really. Um, saved myself a bit of money like I hoped. Um, so I'll be, be able to buy everything I needed to buy within my budget because um, that pressure washer itself is a good five six hundred quid really out of my budget if not more um it's quite a pricey one so um i think two thousand two hundred quid i think it was something two thousand three hundred quid um with the flat surface cleaner bundle thing so yeah um got a deal i'm happy with that i think they're happy um so yeah go show them some love um you know they're helping me out a lot obviously they sent me that gutter back as well um a while back um so yeah um that's about it really hope you've enjoyed the video um sorry i lost the footage um at the start of the video um i don't know what happened the sd card just corrupted um and that was that so yeah, sorry i got interrupted um yeah apologies i that sd card corrupted and just lost like half of my footage which is a bit crap um not a good experience with my gopro for the first time is it um but anyway um yeah i know a lot of people um i don't know what people think of this video me getting deals off a company and things like that um, I'd rather be honest and say I'm getting a deal than just pretend like, oh, look at me, I've bought this uh, pressure washer, paid for it all myself, blah, blah, blah. Um, when I didn't, you know, I mean, what's the point me lying? And I might as well tell you guys, um, you know, tell you what's up. Um, and if I'm getting deals, good, might as well. If I'm in a position um, to get them, then, you know, it saves me some money. It's going to be, it's been an expensive few months for me. So, um, yeah, um, I spoke to them a lot about sort of their company and their philosophy as a company as well. Um, they seem like good people. Um, I wouldn't deal with anyone or I wouldn't tell you guys to buy from anyone um, that I wouldn't buy from personally. Um, they seem sound to me, so they've been kind. They're helping me out, helping my business out. So, yeah, go show them some love um, if you need anything. Um, apart from that, uh, what's going on in life in future? Um, next week, I've got a lot of roofs to do. Um, I've got a Indian sandstone patio to clean. Um, I've got to seal it as well. Um, this is actually for... Um, uh, family, um, it's my partner's uh, uncle and auntie's house. Um, I'm not not feeling too great about sealing it. To be honest, I really hate sealing things, um, but I'll give it a shot. Eh? Sorry, I'm really trying to keep this in shot. Um, but yeah, so a few roofs to do. I've got to, uh, I've got a roof clean. Actually, two houses next door to each other, both having it done at the same time. Um, I really did want some help for the job, to be honest, but um, yeah, unable to uh, get any help at the moment. Um, I know there's a few people waiting, but it's just one of them jobs. So it's just going to be the logistics of sorting everything out and getting someone down to help me with it. It's like I can't really um, afford the extra time at the moment. Um, I'm just going to uh, just smash it out. Ideally, my brother was thinking about coming down because he lives in Germany. His YouTube channel is in Volvo. To, um, go check him out. He does a lot of car videos. Um, it's really good videos, actually. He was going to come down and help me out, but because of COVID restrictions and stuff, he'd have to quarantine for seven days. Um, you know by that time you'd have to go back anyway so there's no point um but yeah so yeah anyway i'll smash those two roofs out that'll probably i'll probably be there for a few days so i'll do like a big two-parter video for that i reckon um patio clean two roofs to do i think i've got a third roof to do that week as well and then the week after that is really busy as well um lots of stuff to do so yeah 
Shut up. But yeah, thanks for watching everyone. I appreciate you. Um, and take care before this gets too loud. Bye-bye.